we've got a lot to talk about today, and the first thing that we're not going to talk about is that. We'll get to that in a minute. What I want to talk about first is, hey, Blue Jay, where'd all those diamonds come from? Where did all this stuff come from? I don't know what you're talking about. That's always been there. Hey, Blue Jay, when's the next episode? Today. Okay, 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 enough joking around. Over here, we've got this little sign here that says, hang it, hang in there. Wow, this is, this is terrible. It's awful. Uh, the new laptop will be here soon. If you've been out of the loop for the last week or two, I had some issues with my previous laptop, and I am now operating off of a brand new one, and I'm very excited about it because... Ooh, look at that! Oh, RTX mode. RTX mode. We're going to be doing plenty with RTX mode, uh, but we're not going to do a whole lot with it today. Just wanted to show it to you. Basically, here's the short scoop. I had an issue with my previous computer. My hard drives were starting to fail. Uh, my video footage from the previous episode was corrupted. Uh, I had finished editing the episode. It was ready to go. We had a really great caving episode for you on how to find diamonds. Uh, a lot of great tips. If you want to check that out, uh, you're not going to be able to, for one because the video doesn't exist. It got deleted. But if you want to learn a little bit about caving, I do have a live stream replay up on the channel for some caving adventures that we did early on. And that's the next best thing that you're going to get. We're going to do something a little bit different today. We are going to start on our first building project, which is going to be our campsite here. You may have noticed uh, we've shifted all of our animals over into a separate area. We've got a bunch of sheep. We're going to get a few more before the day is over because we've got to do some things with wool. And we're also going to clear out these crops. I'm going to go ahead and replant them one more time. Let them grow out while I'm getting a couple other things organized. That way we've got a good solid starting point for when we put our crop farms back in place. While we were waiting on our crops to grow, they're almost done. Uh, we actually found a brown sheep just kind of wandering by. So I trapped him in here and we bred up the sheep and got a baby brown sheep. So uh, that's actually perfect because we're going to need some brown wool. But I've also got uh, some flowers here. So what we're going to do is take the flowers and go boom, boom, and we'll get two blue dye just like that. And then we'll select uh, this guy right here. You're our lucky sheep. You're going to be blue from now on. And uh, maybe this one right here will be blue as well. So now if we go over here and we breed that one with that one, we should get another baby blue sheep right there. Perfect. If you just dye the sheep the color you want, you can go over here and be like, Boom, I'll take some blue wool, please. And uh, boom, I'll take some more blue wool. And uh, boom, I'll take some brown wool. And once they eat some grass, that'll all grow back. We'll be just fine. All right, we've done a lot of work between the last clip and now. And as you can see, we've actually expanded our sheep pen. One thing that I found was an issue uh, when everybody was kind of scrunched into this area. One, all the grass was getting eaten up very quickly, which meant no sheep could replenish their wool. And they were all bumping into each other. So some of the sheep that were in the middle that I sheared, were never uh, they were never making their way to the outsides of the pens. And so it just got a little bit too clogged and crowded and, and it was very, very slow so we expanded the sheep pen and i think this struck a good balance we were able to get a decent amount of wool in a relatively short amount of time boom we got a lot of stuff in here we got at least eight stacks of wool of the three types that we're going to use primarily uh, we're definitely not going to use all of this but we'll be close on the white wool uh, we got a little bit of black wool. We got some oak logs. We got some dark oak logs. We've got some coarse dirt, some lanterns, and some carpet. But it's time to start building. What we're going to do is we're going to do a basic outline to start our tent. And we're going to go one and two. And then we're going to put one blue one. And then one and two. One blue one. One and two. One blue one. And then this is where we're going to switch it up. And gosh, this is bigger than I expected it to be. We're going to stop it right there. That should be fine. Uh, we may actually need to expand this area a little bit, flatten out the surface, get some more dirt somehow. I don't know where we're going to find any more dirt. If you see some, let me know. And now that I've got this in place, I actually hate the positioning of it. So I'm going to move it over. Uh, but before I do, just so I don't have to count again, I'm just going to go ahead and start right probably right here. Now that we've got our basic outline for the horizontal, let's go vertical with it really quick. We're going to go right here and go up one. So we've got two blocks tall. And then we're going to place down a placeholder block right there. And then we're going to go up two more. And then another placeholder. And we'll go up one, a placeholder, go up one, 
and one more placeholder and go up one. This is going to be the exact center point of our tent. Then we're gonna come over here and do the exact same thing. We'll place one right there and go up to one placeholder and we'll go up to one placeholder, go up one, one more placeholder and go up one and then we've got our center block already in place. And if you come down, this will make a nice triangular shape with a little bit of an arc to it. From here, we can follow this same pattern with these blocks and go all the way back until it's on this back wall. And now I'm realizing that I hate this positioning again for another reason. I'm gonna move it. Hang on. Okay, shifted it over. I'm much happier with this positioning, except for this right here. We'll do some dirt filling and terraforming a little bit later to get that looking nice. Uh, but for now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take all of these blocks and we're just gonna go ahead and fill them in to match the pattern we've got down here on the ground until we have a massive triangle uh, going all the way back to about here. Right now, this is much more of a tunnel than it is a tent, but we're gonna fix that right now by going right here. We're gonna skip past this back uh, row of blocks. I've got something special in mind for that. That, but we're going to go ahead and put an entire row of white right here to close off the back side of the tent because while we're sleeping at night we don't want something sneaking up behind us and uh exploding like a creeper or you know maybe prowl comes by and tries to take us out we've done that to him before not in this season not in the bedrock guide but we have snuck up on him while he was sleeping afk and, and taking him out that's your own fault prowl quit blaming me for it Okay, so the special thing I have in mind is something we did in the previous season of the Bedrock Guide. We're going to go ahead and put two black pieces of wool right here and one right there. And then we're going to go one, two, three, and we'll go up one and we'll go up one. And then we're going to go ahead and go blue, 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 and blue here. No, no blue there. No blue there. Uh, so from here on out, we're just going to fill the rest of these in with white. And if you haven't seen it yet, if you can't tell what it is, uh, you might need to get your eyes checked. Hold on. If you can't tell what it is, you might need to get your eyes checked. I can't believe I built that wrong. It's a blue jay, everybody. Look at it. It's so pretty. It's so much fun. The reason we covered up the back wall with white is because if we were to leave this exposed, uh, the Blue Jay figure would be backwards and it doesn't quite look right. So we're going to cover it up. But don't you worry, we're going to put one on the floor inside here as well. We just need to figure out where it's going to go. And there we go. We got the Blue Jay head inside the tent. Don't worry, it's not going to stay like this. It, it, it does look a little out of place because it's just grass surrounding it. We got more plans coming up. And uh, the first one, we're actually going to dig this out right here. We're going to dig this out right here. We're going to dig that out right there, and we're going to replace the blocks directly underneath the wool with the same color wool, but we're going to leave these bottom ones alone. It's not really going to matter. We'll just leave them there. No need to waste blocks at this point in the game. And unfortunately, I'm going to have to say goodbye to the blue bed for now. I love the blue bed. It's my favorite, but for the sake of the build, we're going to sacrifice the blue bed, and we're going to go with something a little bit less uh, flashy. We're just going to go for a plain white bed. It's simple, it's easy, it gets the job done. We're gonna go over here and we're gonna place this bed actually right here underneath this wool block. We'll break it for the moment uh, and then we'll jump back out of here and we'll go, boom, there's our bed. We'll place this block right back down there and I hate it, I don't like it. Hold on, hold the phone. I know we just talked about not wasting blocks, but I'm just gonna leave those there because I'm too lazy to take them out. And we're just gonna go up here like this and we'll place the bed down right there. I think I like that a whole lot better, that's fine. We got our white carpet, we're gonna head over here and we're gonna place the carpet down at the foot of the bed like a blanket, just like this. You have to crouch and it'll place it down. So we got a blanket now, keep us nice and warm. And then whenever it gets dark out, we can just come over here and sleep. And none of these blocks will interfere with our ability to actually sleep in the game. So that should be just fine. Hides the bed, kind of makes some practical use out of the Blue Jay logo, which I absolutely love. So I'm actually building this live on stream right now. And I had a few people suggest uh, that we put a black bed here where the eye is and kind of hide the pillow underneath the carpet there uh, to hide the, the white pillow. And I actually really like it. The only thing I'm not sure about is if the pillow is underneath that carpet, will we be able to sleep at night? I'm not sure. It's morning right now. 
we'll come back and check that out in just a few minutes. But for the time being, we need to go over and grab some more things out of our project box for the next part of our build. Before we go any farther with the floor, I want to do some decoration with uh, the supports because this looks rather flimsy. If this was an actual tent, this would just fall in on itself and we, we would we'd have a really big blanket at that point. So what we're going to do is we're going to go wooden fences here. Wooden fence, wooden fence, wooden fence, wooden fence, wooden fence, and wooden fence. Then what we can do is we can go down this center section here and go all the way to the back. And we'll take this one back out. And then I'm going to go cross beam here and we'll go cross beam here. And that should do it for the inner supports. Then we're going to put some on the outsides as well, just to give it a little bit more structure. We're not going to go crazy with it like we did on the inside where we ran a line all the way down the center. This is more like a tent pole that you would have on the outside of your canvas. So we'll leave one there and then we'll do one back here as well. We're going to ignore that there's no dirt here for the moment. We're going to put some there later because I got something special going on down at the edges of the tent. So hang tight. We'll get that filled in. This is where it would be really nice to have some scaffolding. There is a jungle nearby, so maybe we'll have to make a trek over there soon to get some bamboo. But we'll hop up here. We'll place a fence post right there. One right there. One right there and one right there. And that should do us for now. You see that guy over there? It's daylight and he just spawned in there, which means there is a point of absolute darkness in uh, in the tent or the game is broken because they're not supposed to spawn unless the the light level is zero. Uh, I did see him spawn right in this corner. So maybe this is zero. No way of telling, because unfortunately we don't have fancy tools like Java, so. There's that. But that brings us to our next point. We need to light this place up so that we don't have that problem happening anymore. And for the occasion, I've brought along uh, nothing. And for the occasion, I brought some lanterns. There you go. So we got a lantern there. Uh, I'm going to put one here and then I'm going to put one there. Oh, nope, not there. There. I've kind of staggered them because I don't want a symmetrical look. I just want it to kind of look a little bit random and thrown together. Even though we do have a uh, symmetrical support system, I want the decorations to look a little bit more thrown together. So maybe we'll put one down here on the floor and maybe that's all we do for now. I've got some banners here. And if you don't know how to craft banners, all you need is a stick and a bunch of wool, right? You need six wool, one stick, and you can make a banner. I've pre-crafted some up for you. And what we're gonna do with these banners is we're gonna place one right here, one right here, one right here, here. Ah, too many, too many banners, Blue. Oh no, I've, oh no, I've ruined it. I've ruined it. Banner there, banner there, banner there, banner there, and there, and there. And this is, what in the world just happened? Prowl? 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 If he's here, I'm going to just smash him so hard in the face. Prowl! Get out of here! He's getting the first death of the server tonight. Even though he's got diamond armor and I've got iron, it's going down. And no! 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 <laughs> Okay. Oh my gosh. The, I, I literally didn't see him there. I'm going to have to watch that clip back to see if I, if I actually could see him. That was the most stealthy thing I've ever seen in my entire life. I placed a banner and all of a sudden there was lava. What just happened? Okay, so now that we've dealt with that pesky prowl, banners. But we'll do the same thing on the sides with the blue stripes and put some banners just to kind of give it a little bit more depth and movement so it doesn't look so flat. And the nice trick about banners is that you can actually do this on a single tall block as well. It will just kind of glitch through the bottom block. And when we go on to the inside, we can't see that through the, the wool blocks there. So it's a nice little added effect and it makes it look like a one tall banner, even though it's two blocks tall. Well, it finally happened. I 100% blame Prowl for this. I was heading over to his place to prank him in retaliation for something he did to me. And I fell into a hole. Uh, and I don't even know where that hole is. I'm going to have to find it. So hopefully I can get my stuff back. The last thing that we're going to do to the exterior before we jump on the inside and continue decorating our tent and finishing it off, uh, we're going to do something fun. I'm going to show you a neat little trick. We're going to go one, two away from the fence post here, and we're going to dig down two blocks just like that, and we're going to dig one out right here. I've got a boat, and we're just going to drop the boat right there, and it should kind of shift itself into place. From here, we're going to attach one end of the lead to the boat down there. Hello? 
Why is this not working? It was working in creative. Hold, please. So it wasn't working before, but we're gonna go ahead and jump down into the hole and this should work. We can attach a lead to the boat just like that and we'll dig our way out and we will attach a lead to this fence post right here, which will pull that lead tight. Very, very cool. Then we can cover this back up and it kind of goes dark, but that's fine. It just looks like a dark rope at that point, but it does look like it's just attached to the ground. Another cool thing that we can do with this, we can grab a button and we'll place it down right there and it'll just make it look a little bit like there's a nail in the ground that's tying that rope to the ground. So it, it makes our tent look a little bit more secure makes it look like if the wind starts blowing, it's not gonna fly away. What we can do is attach this to all four of the fence posts around the side of our tent, and we will have completed the outside of the build. And there you go. It's not perfect. It'd be great if the, the leads weren't dark, and it, it'd be great if the, the buttons actually looked like they connect. Hey, listen, let's not poke holes in this. It looks great. It looks great. Okay, so what if I could tell you that your old pal Blue Jay can do magic? Are you ready? And boom. I told you I was magic, look at that. We got a second tent in place now, and what I'm gonna do from this point forward is a little bit of decorating on the insides of these, and we're gonna start over here with our storage tent, and we're gonna put in some barrels because they look a lot nicer than regular chests, especially for something like this. And we're gonna double stack them because we don't have the issue with chests, where if this was up against a solid block, we couldn't open the chest, but barrels do not operate that way, so shouldn't have a problem there. And then from here, I'm gonna take my trusty shovel and we're gonna go a little bit at random with the path blocks. If you don't know how to do this, basically you hit the right click button. Uh, it's not the dig button. You don't wanna dig out blocks. You want to right click them with the shovel. I've got some coarse dirt, not to be confused with regular dirt. This is actually made by combining dirt and gravel in the crafting table. And the great thing about coarse dirt is we can go ahead and break this grass right here and place the coarse dirt down and grass will never grow onto this dirt block. That way we can keep some of the brown texture there without having it grow back and be green again. So I'm going to mix some of this in as well throughout our pathway and inside of our tents. Because once again, we want this place to look well used and like people have been walking all over the grass. And even though we didn't use carpets, we used full wool blocks. I am gonna go ahead and dig around most of this and put path blocks down so you can see a little bit of the lip of that wool block makes it look a little bit elevated from the ground as well and more like an actual rug. Now for this guy, the campfire. Let's go ahead and break it. We'll go over here to our crafting table and we'll make another one. And we're gonna take it and place it a little bit off centered from both of these tents. We don't want them to be directly in line with the openings or anything like that because it just looks a little bit too staged. So I'm gonna put it like right here, I think. Yeah. I think that's pretty good. So then if we're gonna have a campfire around our campsite, we're gonna have to have a place to sit, obviously. So we'll go ahead and skip a couple of blocks here and we'll place down a placeholder uh, log temporarily and we'll go one, two, and three, just like that. Then we can break this block, placeholder, and then one, two, three, one, two, three, and then one, two, and three. But this just looks a little bit too uniform for uh, the feel that we're going for. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna act like some of these logs maybe have broken down over the years. And so we'll place a, a slab right there. Maybe we'll do something like this with a stair. And then maybe on this side of the log, we can have a couple of slabs. Like that one's really worn down. And then maybe we can do, oh, I guess we could do something like that. It's not what I was thinking, but let's try this. Let's try this. Let's go, let's go stair that way. Yeah, I think that looks a little bit better. And then what we can do is take our ax, same way we did with the path blocks and go boop, boop and strip the logs, boop, boop all the way around. And I think that looks really nice for a sitting area around our campfire. All we need now, marshmallows. Uh, we don't have any of those. Oh man. We're running a little short on time, so it's time for a little bit of speedrun decorating. You ready? I've already got a crafting table, an anvil, and a furnace in here, but I did want to show you a couple more things that we're going to put down. Uh, one is this armor stand, and maybe we'll put it right there in the corner, facing diagonally. Really cool feature of armor stands. They don't have to be straight on, which gives a little bit more depth and dimension. Uh, and we're going to put on this armor stand our first set of armor that ever existed in this world. So there's all of our leather armor, and that's probably where that's going to live for uh, the time being. 
probably forever. Thanks for your service, leather armor. We'll still need you, leather boots. We, we, we might get a different pair. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and grab some barrels, some hoppers, and a smoker. If you don't know how to craft a smoker, you basically need one of these guys and four logs, and you'll get yourself a smoker. We're going to place that smoker right there. We're going to place a barrel right there and a hopper going directly into it underneath the smoker. And then we'll place another hopper right here, and we'll place a barrel right on top of that. And actually, I need to grab a third hopper which I do already have crafted. There we go. And we'll go right here with it and then right there with that. And maybe just to mix this look up a little bit, we'll go ahead and put this uh, barrel facing downward. So we'll break it, grab it really quick, and then we'll take our barrel and face it directly down on top of this hopper while crouching and boom, uh, the little face to that is on the top now. And we've got four barrels left over. So I'm thinking maybe we'll find a place for some extra storage in here. Maybe we'll put one right here. Maybe we'll put one right there and then maybe one right there like that sure that's fine and maybe we can have another one right back there and you know what i'm actually gonna move this furnace because it's covering up the beak i don't like that i've done a little rearranging and i'm happy with this layout we've got our bed we've got our furnace to smelt general things we've got our automatic super smoker uh and, and it's well it's not really a super smoker it's just a, an automatic regular smoker but it's super in my mind basically how this works you put your food in there you put your fuel in there and it automatically goes into the smoker and then cooks and goes into that storage right there we've got our anvil our first set of armor our crafting table some extra storage and our main storage to start out this world uh, so that we don't have that mess going on and a nice little place to hang out by the campfire. Now, I've got a couple more things to do and we're very short on time. So I'm going to go ahead and speed through them and I'll show you what we've got here in just a moment. Here you go. Boom. Look at the campsite. It's beautiful. We got our campfire. We've got our storage tent. We've got our personal tent to hang out in. And we've got this uh, semi-permanent farm over here. I mean, more permanent than those. <laughs> But we did use the, uh, the the products of the land, so to speak. We've got some logs, we got some fences, we've got our crops and some farmland, and uh, we're actually growing beetroot now, so we're moving up in the world. But I just wanted to say a quick thank you to everybody for watching the video, dropping a like, leaving a comment, subscribing to the channel, all of that stuff, and for being patient in between videos. I promise we're not going back to two week long breaks between videos. We will have another one out very soon. More content on the way. Thank you so much for watching. You're awesome.